experience. Ron and Darren, it's great to have you today. I'm so excited to kick off our third uh, session of our podcast, The Experience, and looking forward to having a discussion today. Um, we are honored to have our uh, president and CEO of Daxco, uh, Ron Lamb, join us here today and would love to hear from you, Ron, maybe introduce yourself um, to the world. Thanks, Nick. Uh, Ron Lamb, CEO and president of Daxco. Um, and uh, I've been with the organization for about four years and I'm a, I'm a health and wellness nut. Health and wellness nut. It's funny, Ron, that you say that. I think all of us find a little path through our fitness journey in getting there. And I know uh, those that have met you at Earth and other things know that you're, you're definitely one of those types of individuals looking for additional activity. Um, but as we narrow this down a little bit and look at our uh, topic for today, I um, want to dive in pretty quickly to, you know, when you think about a market, say the club industry, what's the strategy you go about in, in planning and thinking about how do we go after a market? You know, when, when you look at uh, how our clubs uh, operate today and how they did five years ago or 10 years ago or 15 years ago, um, start with 15 years ago. A lot of manual processes, a lot of just brute force getting things done. And then about, you know, between the last five and 10 years, there's been a number of what I would call point solutions solving very specific needs, whether it's scheduling or group exercise or front desk or payment processing or billing and collection, you know, whatever it might be, there's been a, there's been a ton of wonderful solutions to help automate various tasks. What I think is a big challenge for us is these systems tend to be very disparate systems. Uh, and that creates a lot of challenges. Uh, staff will tell me that they've got to have four or five different logons. Sometimes even our members have to have four or five different yeah. credentials and logons. It's just, it's just not a good experience. It's just, we're doing a lot of things in, in little silos, but it's, it's not a great cohesive experience. And so that's the opportunity uh, that I saw in joining our team. Yeah, it's funny because they almost you almost lose them along the journey, right? It's almost like I got through three, I'm not doing four. So it's it's kind of like how what is that that point of no return where they're just not going to continue in that process? Um, very interesting thought thought process um, as we continue on this conversation. Yeah, Nick, um, you know I know that for quite a few times this is our third episode, and and I know you've been looking for a better, smarter you know, a uh, replacement for me. Uh, I know Ron, probably doesn't have, <laughs> Ron doesn't have the time, but if he did, I think you would have your replacement for me uh, right well, away. Well, I mean, we, just, we already uh, did cut you out of the red shirt theme. So, you know, Darren, maybe we have to boot you out. I don't know. Yeah, I was wondering about that when I got on the call, like what somebody did not give me the memo. <laughs> so Ron, really excited to have you on with us today. And um, one of the things that I wanted to sort of ask you is on that vision, sort of where do you feel like we are today uh, in, in that vision? Well, I, I want to say like, first off, you know, we're not where I'd like us to be. Um, but that's not to say that we haven't made tremendous progress the last few years. And what we did, if you go back four years ago, hmm. we, we basically, we mapped the member journey and the staff journeys. And we really looked at step-by-step, step, even before they're a member, right? If I'm, I'm just, I moved to a new town and I'm into physical fitness and I want to go see my choices. I'm just kind of shopping and trying to figure out, and, you know, and then I go on the website and then maybe I want to go, you know, maybe I get a day pass and, you know, the management of that data and the experience when they come into our club and how we handle and, and, and talk to them about the benefits of joining our club, you know, just all of those things, like I said, have been in dis disparate pieces. Uh, and, you know, with you and your team from VFP joining the party, it, it, it solidifies a big chunk. And so in the very recent, you know, frankly, over COVID, we spent a lot of money. Uh, we've stood up web, we've stood up digital marketing, we now have the world class CRM tool, we have the member management, we've built out a, a billing and collections uh, system to take that off of people's hands, uh, group exercise. So we, we really are knitting together that end to end seamless experience so that that member journey can be something that's magical, mm -hmm. and that we can save the staff just all the brain damage of all, having all these different systems. 
once you get that in place, then, then some really fun begins with uh, things like business intelligence and predictive analytics and all those kind of things that you can build systems on top of those to really understand what's going on uh, and dial in our businesses. So I am uh, super pleased with the progress that we have made. Uh, anybody who knows me, I'm, I'm kind of an inpatient person, um, but, I, but I'm super also excited and optimistic about the better future we're building uh, together. Well, Ron, you know, uh, when we founded VFP, we had this vision that we wanted to be part of a world-class organization. We, we were always small, uh, growing. We built what we believed was world-class, but we wanted to be part of a bigger system. And it's just amazing how, how we're fitting into the organization, how we're weaving the technology. And it is an amazing end-to-end -end experience. And I'm really excited about what you have recently done um, so tell us just a little bit more about digital agency and how that really completes uh, the story as well. Yeah, we've stood up uh, a digital agency and uh, we've got um, many, many hundreds of customers uh, on our digital products. So full offering of website, full offering of digital marketing, search engine optimization, all of those things that you've got to do, uh, keywords, yada, 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 all the stuff that gets very confusing, frankly, for a lot of our owners. We now have that full capability that we can plug in. And the beauty of having that is integrating that with this CRM tool and all of the sales enablement processes uh, so that it becomes an efficient, seamless process from online to in-store to retention, and then even all the reactivation, all of that becoming automated is what we're trying to do is make it easy for our customers. You know, Ron, it was funny hearing you speak about the last four years and, and how many times did I say to you over those four years, hey, Ron, we need a CRM. Hey, Ron, we need a CRM. And it was funny because this year, this all came together. And not only did you bring CRM, but really bringing digital marketing as a product line that we're really launching probably in the next month or so to the club division, even though it's been running for years on, other, on some of our other divisions. I could not be more excited. And I would just tell you, um, the VFP team and Darren joining us, I think good things come to those who wait. I, I cannot imagine being a partner with any other platform than the VFP and VFP team. It, it's just been fun to see this come together. And thank you for your leadership through that and, and dealing with my impatience. You said you were impatient. I think I may have been a little impatient too, but uh, I think we're better off because of it. Absolutely. And it's, it's really important that the cultures of the organization mesh yeah, and that we have shared visions of what we're trying to do. And, you know, at the end of the day, we're trying to power health and wellness throughout the world. That's, that's our role. And uh, we want to find like-minded people who want to work really, really hard every day and pour their passions into this industry and, and make a big difference and change lives. Very good. So, you know, the name of our podcast is the experience series. And so uh, every guest, um, we're, we're going to be asking them, what does experience mean to you? And so we're going to we're going to throw that out to you, Ron, today. What does that what does experience mean to you? You know, I I would I would answer the question um, through the eyes of a member experience, because hmm. that's 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 how I try to see the world. That's how I see the world. Um, tell you a story, you know, this is, you know, years ago when we used uh, our phones a lot more to follow up, <laughs> yeah. um, a, a woman, you know, joined a health, health club and then she didn't show, Boy, that never happens. Right. And, uh, the general manager or, or, or the, who, who's now running that club, but at the time it was his responsibility. He called and set another appointment and she didn't show up and called, set another appointment. She didn't show up. And, uh, you know, at some point when you're in manual worlds with pencils and, you know, pens and spreadsheets, probably after two or three times, you, you might kind of write that person off. But this, this, uh, this particular individual was really, really special. And they ended up, it wasn't until the seventh appointment hmm. that she kept it and showed up. Fast forward, uh, she was a member of that club for uh, 10 years. Uh, and in fact, in her eighth year, joined the staff and began teaching and training and coaching and, and whatnot. So, uh, and in that, in that same 10 years, she uh, met her future husband, and they got married. So she married someone who's a member. 
Wow. Now, here's what's interesting about that story. Turns out the reason that she kept missing those appointments is she was she had a substance abuse problem. Mm-hmm. And she literally physically was not able after using drugs. But through this particular gym, she got clean. She changed her life. She met her future husband. All of those things happened because one of our one of our own made those extra phone calls. Yeah. My dream for us is to automate and bring automation and simplicity so that we don't lose touch after the second or third no show that we have automated systems to keep after it because at the end of the day the technology that's applied properly and enables our staff to do their jobs it saves lives it changes lives and when we change enough lives empowering health and wellness throughout the world we change society and that's what that's what gets me excited every day about coming to work. Man, if there is anything that will get you up and get you motivated to go to work, that's it. Changing lives, impacting lives in that way. That is, um, that is so incredible, so powerful. Well, Ron, thank you for, for sharing this time with us today. We're really appreciative. I know you have a busy schedule, um, but also I know... For any of those out in the, the the podcast world or the digital world, feel free to reach out to us if you have questions, even of our own CEO. He, he loves to get phone calls and ideas at times. And so I would just tell you, I'm thankful for today. As we wrap up today's third episode, look forward to the next session coming out very soon. Um, and on that note, have a great day. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Darren. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining us for the experience. Check back next time for another episode on how to take your club to the next level. For more content and to stay up to date with the experience, follow Club Automation, VFP Next, and Motionsoft on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. We'll see you next time.